deck, and this is Trex. This is Trex, it's a polyethylene fiber. It's uh, about a uh, four-year-old deck uh, material. Uh, the redwood has the weather, which is a 30 grand deck. This has been stored inside in the most part of Trex. So they're both, uh, haven't seen much weathering, but one's a plastic cross and another is I can ignite both of these on the top with a burning B brand I'm going to place right about here. Okay. Nice. Oh, so that's redwood. This is redwood. It's a plastic problem. I'm going to start this one also about 120 like right now. So you can start walking around this, walking around that. We have number of things going on. Yeah, I'm not convinced about this stuff. Once it's going, the plastic, you want it to go. Tower at Oregon Peak, where we have all of the Yuba County uh, public safety radios in, and, and, and we support the local. So I think the point here, there's two points. One is that in wildfire situations, homes burn down because small fires get big, yeah. and no one is there to put it out. And this is what we're saying here. This this took about yeah, 15. It, was just it took 50 here. minutes to yeah. get this big. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is that based on uh, the research that Glenn was referring to um, in terms of the fire research that, that led to uh, some mm. standards that are now used by the, uh, uh, the building code, fire information will be readily available to the California Homeowners because um, there are certain minimum requirements that these kind of products have to, to, to display in order to, be, in order to comply with the code and, and so the homeowners will, will be able to, to, to find products and find fire information about them.